A pandemic deja vu. The toilet paper shelves empty at some stores because of the port strike. The strike is only in its third day, but it's already created plenty of worry. So we wanted to know, is there really a shortage? WBZ's Christina Rex is live in Everett with some of those answers. Christina? Tiffany and Ken? It just depends on where you go right now, and we want to give the most important piece of information first. Most toilet paper is made here in the U.S., so the experts tell me the panic right now is just panic for the sake of panicking. Oh, no. Is this a pandemic panic flashback? Barren shelves and lines for checkout all the way to the back of the store? A reel on Facebook that uh, Costco and Sam's were being hit extremely hard. Social media posts had customers flooding Costco Thursday. In most carts, toilet paper. Instacart driver Bobby here says his toilet paper orders have gone way up this week. People are funny. Yeah, <laughs> people are funny. While stores like Target and even BJ's Wholesale have fully stocked shelves, a few Costco's are already looking bare. Here in Everett, there were no paper towels, and the store nearly cleared out of toilet paper in the early hours Thursday. You've got about 25 more people that can get one pack of, of toilet paper. Is that normal? No. So why? I view it, at least at this stage, as panic buying. It's almost like there's a hurricane coming. In fact, a hurricane might be part of the problem. Retail expert John Eagles believes news of the hurricane down south, plus existing inflation, and add in the East Coast dock workers' strike and consumers' panic, causing empty shelves. The issue is caused because of the panic, not because there's really an issue. In fact, most toilet paper is made right here in the U.S., and your grocery store probably has a decent stock. They have the available stock on, on the shelves. They have a back room. They have a warehouse. They have, you know, suppliers who supply the merchandise, and they have alternative suppliers. So while shipping containers are frozen offshore or in the parking lot for the moment, you need not panic for now. I mean, you don't want to run out of toilet paper. That is an important, that's an essential item. He has a valid point there, but the experts say the first thing you'd really have to worry about is perishable items if this strike continues for much longer. Now, coming up, toilet paper is mostly made in the U.S., yes, but there is one ingredient used that we do import from overseas. I'll explain what that is and how it could be impacted at 6 o'clock. Live in Everett, Christina Rex, WBZ News. Okay, Christina, thank you.